Giants looking to remain unbeaten as they continue a three-game set with the Braves. Todd Wellemeyer making his first appearance in 20. A sellout crowd here at AT&T Park tonight, and many of these fans came to the ballpark early before the game, and for good reason, Tim Lincecum getting some hardware, presented with another Cy Young trophy, his second Cy Young trophy in just two full big league seasons. Coming over from the Cardinals, top of the first two on, relying on defensive support, gets Troy Gloss to ground into the 4-6-3 DP. Winning run. Takes this one down the line. That'll slice in the corner. Just foul. Oh, what a play. Whoa. I'm impressed. Wow. Hanging over the railing. She brought that glove for a reason. And it ain't the first time she ever put it on. Look at how far she Look reached. Look at low backhander. <laughs> one hand snag right on the web tip. Oh, yeah. I want her on my co ed team. That's a player. Her play. Oh, yeah. Loaded bottom of the second, and he will get out of it, getting Eli Whiteside looking, and then Todd Wellemeyer swinging. Top of the third, Wellemeyer still in control, gets Martin Prado looking, and we continue those rows of zero. Three. Now in the fourth, Wellemeyer in trouble, base is loaded, but he gets Derek Lowe swinging to end the threat. He doesn't have the command. Runner takes off, a rebound, base hit. And the score is Aubrey Hoff. The Giants take a one to nothing lead and Bowker motors all the way to third. The hit and run works perfectly. Infante going to cover, opens up the right side. Well, we're going to make this hit of the game brought to you by Cash Creek Casino Resort. Visit CashCreek.com for upcoming events. And why not make it the hit of the game? It puts the Giants on the board and a very nice at bat. Lowe finally got the ball up just a little bit. We encourage Jason to. Just relax. Fly ball down the left field line. DeRosa drifting back. That one is gone. A home run. Jason Hayward the other way. That'll make you relax. A solo shot ties this game at one. Number two. And one of the hard things as a young player to understand is that major league pitchers make mistakes too. You just figure you, every pitch they throw is going to be a strike, so you're up there hacking. I think that's something that's happened to him during that dry spell. Six, Wellemeyer settles back down, gets Omar Infante to fly out to center to end the inning, so we remain knotted at one. Bottom of the six, low getting some defensive help. Spin and fire by Yunel Escobar. Take another look. That would be it, though, for Derek Lowe. He issued seven walks over six. Nearly hit him. It did hit him. A hit batsman on a 1-0 pitch. And Melky Cabral will touch the plate. And the Braves have the lead. And that's the final pitch of the night for Todd Wellemeyer. Hey, the Braves will take that. Troy Kloss will take that. That gets the lead run in. All started by Melky's good at bat. And look like he caught the jerseys it went by. Yep. Nice round of applause for Todd Wellemeyer who. Well, Escobar later in the frame will ground into the 6-4 fielder's choice. That'll bring home an insurance run. 3-1 Atlanta. Get it well, it's hot. Line base hit. A run is in. Boy, what a confident at bat for the kid. Lefty against lefty and Jason Hayward. Boy, did he look like he felt comfortable against Runzler. A bullet to left. Scores the fourth run of the night. And a big inning afoot for the Braves. Three across to make it a 4-1 score. Well, was... All the way to the backstop, and there's another gift. Well, the Braves aren't exactly lighting up the hits column tonight. But the Giants are in a gift-giving mood, and Atlanta happy to take it. It's a 5-1 score. Now, watch Whiteside as you see this replay. He's going to have his glove down low. He's, he wanted the ball down, but, boy, Joaquin just gripped that one a little too tight. And the pitch that he struck out Cabrera on earlier in the inning 
was the pitch that he wanted to make there. It was like a split finger pitch almost. And there's a rope into the right field corner. That's going to drop for a hit. Hayward, look at him take those big strides. They're going to wave him around third. Relay will not be made. A pinch hit double for Eric Hinsky. Oh, baby, was Hayward picking him up and putting him down. And boy, did he barrel up that ball, man. A rocket into the right field corner. He's been doing that. Eric's been doing that just about every time he's pinch hit. He got a fastball and a good one that tailed back over the inside part of the plate to, to give Eric a chance to turn on it. The defensive laps now, one, two. Line drive, left field. There's another run. Omar Infante with a two out hit. And all of a sudden the Braves bats are coming to life here in the final three innings of this game. A trend we hope continues tomorrow against Tim Lincecum. Donna. Yeah. For the first week he may be the player of the week. That's a base set for Rowan. Coming around and scoring as a rebate. Not yet done. State concentration. If your concentration's back up the middle. That's what's got you a good swing back. Just keep working on the good fundamentals, and here's the reward. Let the ball get deep. Go right back up the middle. That's all he was trying to do. Nine Giants threatening two on one out. Edgar Renteria not going to continue this rally. Grounds into the game ending DP, and that would be it. Braves hold on to win 7 to 2. Aaron Rowan led the way for San Fran, 2 for 5 with a ribby.